algae introduction algae are aquatic plants and are found commonly in fresh water ponds pools stagnant waters ditches and even on shady moist rocks tree trunks and on flower pots marine forms are also very common and abundant the examples of algae are sargassum and fucus algae are chlorophyll containing non-vascular thallophytes without true roots stem and leaf in their thallus algae range in size from microscopic unicellular to large multicellular plants in algae generally the reproductive organs are unicellular but they may be multicellular in some brown algae in multicellular reproductive organs all the cells are fertile and take part in reproduction there is no jacket of sterile cells surrounding the reproductive organs in algae embryo is not formed as a result of sexual reproduction the branch of botany which deals with the study of algae is termed as phycology some algae are found in snowy places that is at mountain peaks and they are called cryophytes some algae are found in hot springs where the temperature is about 85 degrees centigrade at which normal plant life is not possible such algae are known as thermal algae halophytic algae grow in saline water example chlamydomonas ehrenbergi some algae grow attached to the rocks these algae which are attached to the rocks are called lithophytes example sargassum it is a tree like algae many algae live on other algae or on other plants they are known as epiphytes example edogonium bulbosheate some algae lead a symbiotic mode of life with fungi or with higher plants lichens are the best examples of symbiosis of algae with fungi nostoc in anthocyros anabina cesadea in the coralloid roots of cycas are other common examples of symbiotic algae general characteristics of algae algae are chlorophyllous green thallophytes algae are mostly found in water fresh as well as marine water the simple thallus is composed of parenchymatous tissue the thallus usually possesses the green chlorophyll pigments in addition to chlorophyll some other pigments are also present in different algae these are autotrophic in their mode of nutrition the cells are mostly uninucleated and the cell wall is made up of cellulose the reserve food is usually in the form of starch the reproductive units are mostly motile and ciliated except in some groups of algae which are otherwise thallophytes chlamydomonas acarens it is widely distributed free swimming green algae which inhabits in stagnant water and damp soils a few species inhabit the snowy regions example c yellow stonensis and c snowyea c erinbergi occurs in saline water structure chlamydomonas is a motile biflagellate unicellular green alga it is more or less spherical or ovoid in shape rarely it is ellipsoidal the protoplast 
is surrounded by a definite layer of cellulose wall. It has a distinct anterior end, which is narrow or beak-like. The two flagella are coming out from the basal granules. The major portion of the protoplast is usually occupied by a cup or bowl-shaped chloroplast. There is a single nucleus embedded in the colorless cytoplasm filling up the cup. Sometimes chloroplast is star-shaped or lamellate in form. Usually a single proteinaceous pyrenoid with starch sheath is present in each chloroplast. At the base of the flagella, there are two contractile vacuoles. There is a photoreceptive organ, the eye spot at anterior lateral end, and is supposed to be concerned in directing the movements of the flagella. Reproduction Chlamydomonas reproduces itself by both asexual and sexual methods. Asexual reproduction by zoospores. The zoospores are produced during favorable conditions in watery medium. The cell withdraws its flagella and becomes non motile. The protoplast divides longitudinally into two protoplasts, which again divide and redivide, resulting into four or eight or 16 daughter protoplasts. Each uninucleate daughter protoplast then secretes a wall around it and develops two flagella at its anterior end. The cell wall of the parent cell decays or ruptures and the daughter cells or the zoospores become free. Sexual Reproduction It takes place by the fusion of haploid gametes. The method of formation of gametes is similar to the formation of zoospores from a vegetative protoplast as already stated. But in this case, the number of daughter cells produced is more, namely 16 or 32. The gametes are similar to zoospores in structure, but smaller in size. They are Biflagellate. The gametes are generally naked, but when walled, the protoplast of each gamete leaves its original wall before union. Fertilization. Union takes place between the gametes derived from the same parent cell, homothallic, or between gametes derived from different parent cells, heterothallic. Gametes of positive type never fuse with themselves, and this is true for negative type also. But fusion occurs only between positive and negative gametes. Fusion of gametes leads to formation of zygote. Fungi Introduction During rainy season, a number of small umbrella-like growth come out from wooden structures or in the fields. These are referred as mushrooms. Also, feather stuffs carry white powdery substance and bread easily get green or black moles. These are all fungi. Fungi are a group of non-chlorophyllous, that is, non-green, thalloid plants. The huge group comprises more than 10,006 species. Fungi occur in almost every available habitat on Earth. Many fungi are of major economical or medical significance to man. The organisms are partly free-living saprophytes, that is, living on dead, decaying organic matter and partly symbionts of all possible types, that is, living in mutually benefiting associations with other plants. Along with some heterotrophic 
bacteria, they are major decomposers. They are required for recycling of organic resources in the biosphere and like some of the bacteria, some of the fungi produce diseases. Especially important are the fungus diseases of plants. Occurrence Fungi are worldwide in distribution. Fungi are found in soil, in fresh water, lakes, ponds and rivers. Some fungi are marine thriving in seawater. Fungi, whenever they come in contact with some suitable host, they start growing. General Characteristics of Fungi They lack chlorophyll and thus they are heterotrophic in their mode of nutrition. They live either as symbionts or as parasites or saprophytes. Except the yeasts, the plant body is thallus called mycelium. <laughs>